Hello everybody. Today I thought I would make some um, a couple of collage tags. I need to finish off my journal I'm working on and I thought I would use some of my new BB Craft products to make a couple of tags. So I thought I would use the lovely little paper pack that I received from BB Craft to get started with. And just make a couple of collage tags with these. I'll put a link in the description box below to these products. Um, now my journal I'm working on is a neutral journal. So I'm going to stick to these colours for this particular thing. So I'm going to take one off. I have the size of the tag that I want to create. It's a long skinny tag. I want to use some of this paper to cover it but of course I want to break that up a little bit so I have scraps left over from the journal I'm working on right now and I think I'll use a bit of this one here which is a bit of um, is it graph paper and that will break it up quite nicely I think so what I will do is perhaps just cover that completely on one side with this graph paper so there and there everybody's keeping well. It's Sunday morning here today. Okay, I can just trim that up a little bit when I'm finished. So I'll start off with that and all I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue to the back. It doesn't need to be a lot because I will be stitching around the edge of this. So I'm only putting a bit of glue in the center there to hold it in place. Um, I hope this mat I've got down is not too glary. It's a glass mat and I've tried to aim the... Sorry, concentrating. I've tried to aim the light so that it doesn't glare. Okay, so we'll start off with that. Now I want to be, you know, adding a couple of pieces of this to it as well. Like I might add a, a little bit up the top. I can also add a bit more of this. I could use a little bit of this on here as well. Um, let's have a look. Under there perhaps. Over. Over might be nice, like that. Yep, that's what I might do. So I'm going to cut a bit off this. And you could rip it if you wanted. I don't want too much ripping going on in the journal I'm making. There's two pieces there. I might just um, straighten that one up as well a little bit. That one there. So I think I'll just glue it about there. 
like that. Yeah, that will be all right, I think. They're very simple to make. Once and once you make one, and you've got your um, papers and things out, you can quite easily continue making them and make a whole stack of them. Usually one thing leads to another, doesn't it? You end up with new ideas as you're going along. Okay. So I'm just going to put that there like that. Looks fairly straight. And then I'm going to, whoops, let's just wipe that up. going to fold it over the back I do this quite often in my tags just wrap it around it adds interest to the back of the tag as well okay so that's that put this one down here like that I think Oops. Okay, that was my daughter. She is officially in labour. Yay! <laughs> um, very exciting news. Very exciting. Her due date was last Tuesday, so she'll be thrilled that something's finally happening. Um, it's her first baby. So, of course, you know, it's all brand new. Um, so that's exciting. Okay, now I've got to try and concentrate on this again. I wonder, I had another little piece of this that I was using earlier. Oh, here we go, here we go. A little bit here. I might use a bit of that, I think, on there as well. Uh, maybe we could just rip that. Maybe I'll use it that way, like that. It doesn't have to wrap around this one. I just want to break that expanse up a little bit there, I think. How's that look? It doesn't have to be there. It could be there as well. Oh, no, no. Maybe down there. Yeah, we might put it there. Okay, I could also stamp on this as well, I think. Now, I just want to make sure I've got the edges. And if you wanted to make little pockets in this, then you could leave open an edge as well. Um, because this is going into a long, skinny type bag, I really don't want any more bulk in it than I've got. So, let's do that. Yes, so that's exciting news going into labour. Um, mind you, that could be... <laughs> Could still be some time off, couldn't it? We all know that. Um, so I'll just take it as it comes. Mm -hmm. Put that there. Okay, there we go. Trim it up. Look at that, 
so if you wanted to stamp you could put a good stamp right there as well which would be nice I might have a little stamp that I could use um, but what I'll do is finish the tag first I think so what I'm going to do now is just put some a little bit of ink around it this is the Puma Stone. I like this one a lot. And I think he's got a new grey one out. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I do like the greys. I do tend to go for the greys. Uh, so I think I'd like to get those. I think there's either one or two. I can't quite remember. But I know I'd like to get it. I don't really have to do much inking on that part. Maybe at the top there a bit. I do like to put a bit on the back if I'm inking though because it tends to finish it off. Doesn't look so stuck, especially because that's so light, that one. It's just an off cut of a bit of... Uh, actually, it's either really heavyweight cardstock or a packaging or something like that, but it's nice and strong. It's about the same thickness as an index card, and I do tend to use index cards a lot for my tags because they're just the right thickness, I think. Okay, so that's that. Now I want to use a little bit of ribbon, and I have this beautiful velvet ribbon from BB Craft. So let me cut that end off. Um, I love these lovely ribbons and I just want to put a little bit of ribbon at the top. So let's just cut that there. They're beautiful. They're really lovely. They're nice and um, small. Of course, the longer you cut a ribbon, the more movement it will have. If you just want a short little ribbon like that it's not going to have a lot of movement but because this is such a long tag I want the ribbon to be quite long as well perhaps just put it like that or maybe even a little bit further down uh, just might bring it in just a little bit more And have that there like that. Um, I want to stitch around it. I might just, I might just corner round the bottom. Oh, that munched it, didn't it? Hang on. I don't know if I'll be able to fix that. Need to tidy it up a little. I think that's because the glue is still a little bit damp under there, probably. I just sometimes like to round the bottom of my tags because they're so much easier to get into their little spot, especially if it's a long bag or something like that. That's, that's fine. Um, I can move the top straight and I'm just going to do a straight stitch around this tag and then I'll be back to show you. Alright, so that is done. It's all stitched on. And I just I think I will just add a little bit of stamping just to break up. And I've got this lovely dotted stamp here that I've got. Um I'm just going to put a bit up one side. I don't really want any corners, so I'm just going to wipe the corner of it. And hopefully I won't get any. Just like that. I think that's quite nice. I might even do another little bit down here.
there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's that. Now, there's not a lot of crossover, but I'm okay with that. I probably would have liked it a little bit more crossed, but it's okay. I'm just cutting the ends at a nice angle there. And I could put a flower there if I wanted to. Um, I'll see what it looks like in the in its spot. So just let me... Oh, here we go. Okay, I already had it open. This is the spot that it's going on. It's just a little bag that I've made. And it's going to go in like that with the velvet ribbon hanging over like that. And the top of it will stick out the top of my journal like so. And I think that's quite nice. I may... Oh, you know what might be nice then? Okay, a little bit of chain bling. There's not, I don't really have any bling in this journal. Um, but I'm thinking that might be nice. Just let me have a little rummage around. Sometimes I have bits over here. Oh. Leftover pieces from other projects. This is a little bit of, um, it, it's the plastic variety that I could use. I could just put a little bit across the top there. That might be quite nice. Um, what do I think of that? Just like that. I'm just not sure about the black. Okay, I've got this one, which is a scrap, um, in a silver. Maybe that could work. Let's have a look. A bronze would have been better, but I know I don't have a bronze at all. Probably using far too big a scissor there for that. I'm thinking that might be better. Like that. Just let me get some smaller scissors around that. You can actually um, use your heat gun and melt these little threads down if you want to get rid of them completely. Or, or a flame to shrivel the threads up. Okay, that one might work. across to finish the top off there like that. I think that's better than the black. It's not quite as dark. Okay, let me get a bit of stronger glue, some craft glue. a nice flower there because I've got a flower here. I didn't particularly want a flower on this. Okay. And that's a very simple kind of tag. And it's not real rhinestone or anything. Like I said, this is just a little bit of plastic trim. But it looks pretty. It looks pretty. So that will slot in there like that. I like that. I like that.
like that, yes. Something a bit different, isn't it? Okay, so I think I will go ahead and make some more collage tags um, using these lovely papers from Baby Craft and of course using the beautiful velvet ribbon from Baby Craft. Um, I kind of had an idea with the ribbon as well, but I'm going to go ahead and play, see what I come up with, and then I'll show you at the end of the video what I've come up with. Okay. Oh, and I noticed the journal just landed on this page, and as you can see, this is another one I made. This is what the little scrap was from, and I've just used a piece of this paper from BB Craft. I put a little bit of tape on there that was my own and that's an index card on the back and I've just folded the velvet ribbon over and I haven't put anything on that one and that just sits in this little tuck spot there quite nicely and it's um like that oh it's quite close to that one Ooh, never thought of that perhaps I need another space for this one although once it's closed it's not too bad is it so There we go. I'll be back. Okay, so because I had them both so close together, but I want them in those spots, I didn't like how they were both the same. So what I did was with the larger one that I just made, I've just clipped the top of it like that. I've taken the loop off and it's still stitched there. It's still crossed over a little. Um, but I feel that it sits so much nicer together now. They're, they're a little bit different. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, I've got this envelope here that I thought I would just put another piece of this lovely paper on the front of. Once again, I'm going to use the velvet ribbon. Um, because this envelope, I want to paper clip it to the side of a page. I, I don't want too much bulk, so I'm just cut a length of ribbon off, and basically, I want it across the top like that. And this is a lighter shade. See the difference there? This is a lighter shade, just so it is more noticeable on this paper. So I'm holding that there like that. And then I want to um, that way flip it over and make my loop like that. Okay, because I kind of want it at a right angle. That will lay down more like that, and that one will come down in that direction. This one here I'm going to glue into place and this one here I might just glue a little bit at the top and leave leave it loose so that I can still, I need to make sure that's flat as well, I can still clip the envelope to the page. I don't need to go over the top of the velvet but I just, you kind of have to play with the angle of it. like. I'll glue that down first, so let me just, I'll just use a bit of this clear craft glue for this. If it will come out easy for me. And I won't need a lot of glue. I just want to make sure, oh I should have, I'm just going to leave the end of it sticking up a bit because I need to trim the end of it. And then what I need to do is kind of play around with the angle of the velvet, like I might want, I kind of want it that way a little bit more I think. Oh, perhaps 
a bit bigger like that, that might work there. So it might actually be easier to put a bit of glue here to hold it in place on that the angle I want like that and then fix that once that's dry a little bit and then I can that like that and I think that will probably need something there maybe a nice flower there because it will stick up just a little bit perhaps I'll put a bit of glue there now And so we'll let it there, like that, and that. Like that. And I'll oh, find, I hope that glue dries nice there. It should do. Okay, so I've got this little uh, printable that I've I've had over to the side because I've been using it throughout the journal. So I'm just going to stick it on. Like that. And then just a little punched flower as well. And with my punch flower, I have just shaped it a little bit with my stylus. So that's what that looks like there. Now I'm going to try and find the page. Oops, don't want to get ink on that. Oh, here we go. I've got it marked. And this is actually the page here that I want to put it like that. Um, not with that paper clip, but I want to make a paper clip. Uh, do I want to make a paper clip? Yes, I do want to make a paper clip for it. So I will do that now. All right, so I have my pom poms out that I got from Baby Craft. Aren't they adorable? Um, I've they've got this lovely. It's almost like a flesh color. Uh, well, you know, it's it's got a slight pink beigey tinge to it and if you compare it let's say to a white one you can tell the difference there um, I, wonder, well, I might use a white one actually because I've I've already made a couple in this color for my journal so I'd like um, perhaps one that's white take that one there okay so I've got a little paper clip here I have this these have gold on them and I'll need a small oh do I need a jump ring on this one I might not need a jump ring let me just have a look It might be just fine the way it is, like that. Um, but what I want to do is, so with the kit, with the beautiful pom-poms, you get the keychain pieces that have a chain on them. You get earring pieces. Um, I might make some earrings for my daughter. She would probably love that. Then you get the gold jump rings and the silver jump rings as well so there's things you can you can make different things with them um, but because they're gold I don't particularly want mine gold I'm just going to find okay I have a silver sharpie here which is a permanent marker um, I'm going to very carefully 
try. Uh, I wonder if I just had a I just had a thought. Let me see how big that hole is and whether or not oh look at that okay I can pop that over carefully I just don't want to get you know it on the fluff if I can help it have I got the right yes I have got the right glasses on So I'm just going to get a little paint and it, even though it might not get every single piece of the gold it will make it look more silver. Which is what I want. Like that. Okay, I think that looks fine. Oh, that worked well, didn't it? Oh, I didn't know about that on the last two, so that looked worked very well. Handy tip there for you. Um, so see how that's just taken away too much of the gold? It's kind of, you know, softened that gold, which is what I want. I'll just make sure that's dry before I start putting it on. Uh, in there okay and I'll probably just leave that as is but I'll just show you what I did with the last couple that I made um, so there's our little bag there but over here I've used one of the lovely bulb pins that I was sent by BB craft I've used a jump ring and I've used the beige color pom-pom you can see I have colored the top of it again there um, which was a lot harder than using this little um, circle method so I'll be using that from now on and I've just tied a bit of tulle around it um, I've put an eyelet in a piece of fabric there that was stitched on to the page and I have a little dangle so that's one way I've used the pom-pom on the bulb pin and then this one will be on a paper clip because I need to hold something in this time so let's see if we can get it on here easily enough There we go, like that. Um, I'm not sure if I will need to Make sure we've got it at the right end. <laughs> so there we go. Okay. I don't want it slipping off at all. And there we go. A nice little pom pom. On the end, I could tie um, oops, have I, okay, I don't want to be doing that. But be careful with your paper clips that you don't get them caught on threads and things from stitching in your journal. There we go. So just like that. 
and I think I like it like that. I've got those, that one there and I've got that one there with the tool on it. So I think I'll just keep that one. I could put something on it, I guess. It's just that I've got that little clip up there as well. So I just, I don't need too much going on. I could move it down just a little. To there. I don't need them all the same, that's it. There we go. So I've got the three pom-poms on the side. Very cute. Two with the tool on the bulb pins and one on a paper clip on that envelope with the lovely, beautiful velvet. Oh, I do like the velvet. I do like the velvet. And the lovely paper from BB Craft also. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've made. Um, I might just get them all out now. So I can show you them. So there's that one. You can hear Molly in the background, I'm guessing. She's trying to wake my son up. I did a side tag, just like that, with the paper on some index card. And I put the velvet ribbon to the side there so I can pull it out of a little pocket. So I have that one there. I have the long skinny tag there and I also have, if I can find it, I have this one plus I have the little paper clip plus the two which I'll just take off to show you. pom-pom with the tool on it as well. There, like that. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I need to put that on a nice background and then I'll put a photo up so you can see them better. Um, and I'll be back with more projects with the things that I have received from BB Craft in another video next week. So take care everybody and thank you so much for watching. Bye.